Hello. I was asked to make a video on how to make a macro and how to use it and what it looks like in game. Uh, in specific, I'm going to be using Counter Strike Global Offensive as my test product. So first, we're going to go to gaming.logitech.com/en-us. I'm sure the website's different if you live in like Africa. So mice. We're going to click on mice. Uh, we're going to go down to the mouse that you currently have. So I currently have the G302 Daedalus Prime. It's going to give you some really bad render of uh, your mouse. And you're going to go to support. Downloads right here in the center of the screen. Pick your operating system. Pick your bit, mine 64, and download. And once it's done, when it's done downloading, you're gonna get you're gonna get your gaming program. This is just what mine looks like because this is for the mouse that I currently have. I'm sure it'll look different. It will look different depending on what mouse you have. So you're gonna go to inputs right here. This little input right here. And we're going to it's not gonna look like this for you. The program's gonna be new. So you're going to go right here, ignore everything here, go right here, the little plus sign, click on it, create new profile. So I'm going to name this macro, macros for Counter-Strike. <clears throat> Description, uh, it doesn't really matter, but uh, here you're going to the plus sign underneath games and apps and you're going to find the game it should be under uh, rip where's computer uh... times eighty six steam steam apps common counter strike global offensive <coughs> Uh, per game you're using, it will be different. So maybe you want to use a Counter Strike source. Uh, you click on the hl2.exe file, the application file. Uh, maybe you want to use Fallout. I don't know. We're going to use Fallout Launcher because that's the uh, application that we'll be using it with. So we're using Counter Strike Global Offensive. So we're going to click csgo.exe, open it. So now that's the file it's going to work with. Uh, okay so now it should bring you over to the macros that you the new uh, macro thing you just made right here this is the new one I just made and it's gonna look very basic there's literally nothing it's just stock uh, buttons so here's right click middle click copy whatever um, so we're gonna click on what you want and I'm sure it's gonna be one of these two buttons or this center button that you're gonna be changing up so let's just do this one for now uh, yeah let's just change this one right now so we're gonna click on it and hit assign new command we're gonna hit multi key because we're not hitting a standard button for some reason Logitech really likes the whole idea of there's a button to press down a button and there's another button to let go of the button. I don't know, it's annoying. So name, let's do a, what are we doing, rapid jump? Alright, so you're going to hit while well, pressed repeat options. That lets it spam. So we're going to hit start recording, but don't touch anything yet. So now we're just going to hit spacebar once and then let go. That's all you want to do. It should have a down space and an up space. That's all you want. So, the delay, this is very important. The delay is if you go too low, it will not record. It will, uh, in, in game, and you have to test this yourself per game, but for Counter Strike, for Rapid Jump, it's going to be 50 milliseconds delay uh, between each button press being emulated. So, the game will get confused as to how fast you're pressing the spacebar theoretically 
so it just doesn't work. So 50 is what I found to be an optimal number to work with. So I'm going to hit add. So exit that, and now I'm going to click on right here. I'm going to click on rapid jump and just drag it onto it. Okay, so for rapid fire, we're going to use this button in particular. Uh, you could try using the middle mouse button. There's a button instead of scrolling. You could use this button and put rapid jump here, or maybe somewhere over here. But from my experience, rapid fire, just for some reason, does not like this button. I mean, maybe you can get it to work. Uh, I don't know. Good luck. I just use this button because I usually use this button for team speak, toggle speak, push to talk. I mean, so we're going to click on here. Uh, assign new command, multi key. So we're going to go to just rapid fire, if I could spell, and we're going to keystroke. Um, we're not going to hit anything right now. We're just going to right click and we're going to hit insert mouse event, left button down. So now we're going to do the same thing, except left button up. And what that lets us do is let the program emulate the entirety of clicking a um, left mouse button. So we're going to hit repeat options while pressed, change this to 30. Anything below 30 and the game will get caught up. So at this point, for some reason, uh, Logitech really doesn't like this. I have no idea, honestly, what's wrong with it. It's not letting us hit OK. So we're going to go click around for a little bit and go back into multi-key as everything will still be saved. And now we'll be able to hit OK. So OK. So now we have rapid fire saved here. And now we're going to go into the game and we're going to look at what this looks like in game. Hello. Alright, so we have our macro set up and we're going to go into a game and see what it looks like. So play. Uh, we'll play off on the bots. Alright, so I'm in game and the first thing I decided to buy was a dual Berettas because the dual Berettas with the auto fire are actually very accurate and it's, in my opinion, very useful because the dualies, you usually have to click really fast to use them and they're not really that useful. But with the rapid fire, however, it's very fast, so I'm going to use the button now. That's what it looks like using rapid fire. That's basically as fast as you can get. So, I'm going up to the enemies if they uh, don't want to run away. Is uh. It's very accurate and it's very fast. So, now along with the uh. the auto jump, the rapid jump, um. don't expect to be B hopping God at all, because CSGO was made in the idea that b-hopping would not be allowed, so it's very hard in this game. So when you hold it down, you're just going to be able to hop, you're jumping automatically. I'm not touching the space bar, I'm just holding the button that I made. So I mean, if you feel like you think you can be a good b-hopper, I'm in no way decent. Like every now and then I can string a few together just like there, but it's really not that great, I mean, I don't know. Enjoy. Alright, so another weapon that I think is really useful with the auto fire is definitely the Tech 9, because the Tech 9, you see the pros, how they fire so fast and all that stuff. Um, the Tech 9 can be that fast and it's really useful. I think if you have a Tech 9, this is probably the most important thing about it. So, this is my little beauty here. So, that's like. That's without it and now with it. If he doesn't want to die.
Thank you to Squeak for suggesting that I do this uh, little video here. Uh, I didn't really think about making a video before, but I understand now it's very important to make one to go along with this tutorial. Thank you.